So here we have the iPhone on a webcam, iTunes, and the iPhone configuration utility. So basically we're going to get Juno's Pulse installed and configured. So let's first start by going to iTunes, going to the App Store, and downloading Juno's Pulse. Here's what the app page looks like. It just gives you some version info. The file size is only a megabyte. Some screenshots and documentation, things like that. It is a free application. So basically it's designed to work with the Juniper Network Secure Access SSL VPN Gateway. So we'll go ahead and download it. It was already downloaded, so it was really fast, but it's only a meg. Um, once it's installed here, it shows up in your apps folder, in your apps library. You'll see some of the settings here, uh, file size, things like that. Now we'll go ahead and sync it to my iPhone. So the iPhone again is plugged in on USB and we're going to sync it here from iTunes. You'll see it says installing Juno's Pulse. And on the phone basically it's just doing the iTunes sync. Alright, now that it's installed, we can move it here to our front page. And we'll go ahead and launch it. Here's the uh, Juno's Pulse splash page. Now the first thing you must do is enable our SLVPN plugin. And you can see the about page. Basically there's some settings here you can configure. Uh, you can do this manually, uh, configure cert auth, password auth, URL, or we can do this via the iPhone configuration utility. And that's what this is here. So for those of you who aren't familiar, you just download this from uh, apple.com. You uh, connect your device and it shows you what kind of configure uh, profiles are applied to it. You can create different profiles here. You just click on new. I've got one here called Juno's Pulse SLVPN. You basically just fill out all these settings below, whichever ones you're interested in. Uh, this basically tells you whether or not the profile can be uninstalled by the user once it's already been applied. So we'll look at some of the passcode settings here. Those are all optional, of course. Same with restrictions. You can uh, restrict what features are available on the iPhone using this uh, mobile profile. You can configure Wi-Fi, SSIDs, and things like that here. You know, this is very handy for rolling out iPhones in an enterprise, of course. Um, so here's where we configure the VPN settings. Basically, uh, go through and configure your URL, um, some of your optional authentication information. Um, we also support certificate authentication, and you can select an identity once you've imported them on the credentials page. I'll show you in a moment. We've also set up VPN on demand here and it also supports proxy configuration. So that's pretty much it. It's uh, very generic here. Um, there's also some things like email, like ActiveSync. This is of course also optional but highly recommended for larger deployments. You know this just takes uh, one less step for a user to get their phone up and running. So it just makes it very, very easy. Uh, the certificate UI is pretty straightforward. You can import certificates manually here. Uh, you basically just import them and select them here. Nice little UI. Um, we also, you know, the iPhone configuration also use also supports SCEP, Simple Certificate Enrollment Protocol. Basically, this is what the configuration might look like. This is like for an Active Directory uh, Enterprise CA. So now we've got our profile here. We're going to install it on the device. So we'll go in here and we'll see our device is connected. It's got these options here. Basically, you just select the one you want and click install. And you'll see immediately on the phone, we're prompted to install. Even if the phone's locked, it automatically unlocks it and uh, lets you install this here. Uh, you'll see it's pretty straightforward. This basically shows what components have been installed. You'll see the actual kit and then the certificate and the VPN settings as well. 
and once those get installed you'll see you can find them here under general all the way at the bottom hit profiles and that's that last page you saw and since we imported VPN settings we can take a look at them here you'll see the settings have now been imported so but more importantly now Juno's Pulse the app knows how to use these settings you'll see here it's already found the settings there they are again we set to use certificate authentication so that's pretty much it now Juno's Pulse is installed and ready to rock and roll you just click on connect and in a few moments you'll have your layer 3 SSL VPN connection once again this is Juno's Pulse from Juniper Networks uh, this was just launched a couple of weeks ago and is available as I showed earlier in the iTunes App Store you'll see now the VPNs connected and that's basically it so you could go through apps etc I've got another video showing all the different apps for the iPhone over a VPN um, once again just one last look here the status page you can see you're connected your remote IP address settings etc you'll also see back here in the iPhone configuration utility it's now been applied so you could uninstall it essentially and um, also just a pointer the console page here is very helpful for troubleshooting once again this was iPhone configuration utility version 3.1